Good morning, dogs, and welcome to a somewhat new announcement. Weather, sports, and more right after the pledge. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. For anyone interested in working crew for the theater, there will be a call-out meeting next Tuesday, September 21st, in the theater, right after school. The meeting will be short, but we'll discuss available positions, schedules, and expectations. If you have any questions, please see Mr. Taylor. The Hispanic Heritage Festival will be September 18th on Saturday from 4 to 10, located at the Perry Creek Park on the Farmer's Bank stage. Now to weather and sports. Thank you. It's nice to see you guys. It's been a while. For today and throughout the week, it will be sunny with the occasional clouds. It will be in the mid-80s throughout the week, so if you're working in the sun, make sure to grab some water and stay hydrated. However, on Monday, it will be raining throughout the day, so make sure to grab an umbrella that morning to not get any important paper sweat. You can never be too prepared. Now let's send it to Cohen with sports. Thanks, Kyle. The tennis team came away with a win 4-1. to one. Number one doubles Eli Grasham and Elijah West wrapped up their match in two sets and continue to keep showing improvement. Aiden Hudsmith and Jake Swinford did a nice job and took control early in their sets and maintained the pace throughout. Edwin Wade Scott played his first match at one at singles and did a great job. He handled next, the next level of play with confidence and determination. Great evening for hot dog tennis. Nelson was able to catch up with girls soccer. Let's see what he had to say. Starting off the season 3-5 and five and going 1-1 one one in conference, the girls soccer team is off to a rough start but looks to turn around. He's with Coach Field and his captains, I just say. Plan moving forward is to just continually keep getting better, putting better results up on the, floor, on the field, finding that consistency, because that's one thing that's kind of escaped us, but I think that competition amongst the girls is definitely going to help that. So plan moving forward is just to find that consistency consistency, so we can put a better product on the field that results in more wins so that way we can get to that goal of at least being 500 at the end of the season. Definitely the biggest change I've seen is having a lot of underclassmen stepping up and playing because last year we had mostly all the seniors start and this year it's like a lot of sophomores and some freshmen starting. As a captain, I plan on helping the underclassmen step out of their comfort zone so as their senior year approaches, they can have a better season and possibly go further than what we have gone. We'd love to have you out for our next uh, home game, which is Saturday against Oak Hill. All right, so come on out. It'll be kind of an early start, but both teams should be playing and come out and support the girls. We'd love to have you there. Thanks, Nelson. The girls' volleyball team came away with a big win Tuesday against Sheridan in a 3-0 shutout. Well done, girls. They will have a home game tonight against Western Boone at 6 p.m. Make sure to be there to support. Now, back to your hosts. Happy birthday to Austin Bell, Marissa Hancock, and Mason Huffer. DECA is currently doing a fundraiser for Audrey's Pumpkin and Gourmet Cake Rolls. If you wish to buy some, find a DECA member to get more information about it. Every morning leading up to Friday's game, the student council will be selling gear. You can purchase red, white, and hot dog blue headbands, glasses, and beach balls, and much more. If you missed the eSports call out yesterday, email Mr. Bacon to see how you can still join. That's all for today's announcements. If you enjoy, make sure you like and subscribe. We hope everyone has a great day.